over here. Yeah, that's one of you. How many? Pink ticket? Yeah, they're okay through here. Excuse me, mate. I'm going to okay? Hello, how are you? Come on, tell you. 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 Come on, tell just go around, just go right around yeah. the stadium, follow it around, okay? All right. All three are open. I've got one main stand ticket here. I'm down at the far end. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Can I see your ticket, please? How's Richard Keith? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Chris Casper at number six. Seven is Terry Cook. <laughs> number nine is Dion Dudley. Number 10 is Colin McKee. Colin McKee at number 10. And uh, number 11, captaining the Manchester United side
film it like a, a normally film a football match. It's very bitty. It's the main bit from there. Uh, you can see that you can talk to me. It's a bitty from this
<laughs> this is Arsenal. <laughs> Beating the fever. <laughs>
Breakfast bulletin. Yeah. The main thing is. Come on. Come on. Come on. One, two, three, four. Uh, Roger. Roger Gifford. Neil Mitchie's a Pratt. <laughs> is it rolling? Yeah, rolling. Hi then, Roger Gifford. We'll call you the organiser in there for this. The organiser, should we call you? Yeah. Okay. Roger, what's the significance of tonight's match? I think the real significance is there's been a family of football out on the field and around the stadium tonight. Everybody has come, seen a good game of football. Manchester United, they played football as we expected them to. Cumbran certainly didn't disgrace themselves with a credit to the Conic League. But everybody around the stadium came and celebrated in football. And we hope that's how they'll remember Frank Martin, what football is all about, the good things in the game. How do you remember Frank Martin? As a character, as a practical joker, and a great colleague to be with. I mean, the fact that Manchester United are here tonight, what does that mean for, say, no, Clarence and, and for the man himself? It says it all, doesn't it? You know, there's no bigger name in football than Manchester United, and when Alex Ferguson was approached through my good friend here, Neil Midgley, um, straight away, yes, we'll be there, and you'll have gigs in the team because we know how popular he is in Wales. This has been more a celebration of football and a family of football, hasn't it not? I think the two go hand in hand, though, don't they? You know, football is a big family. Look how many people have just mucked in to help to make tonight such a success. Manchester United, Cumbran Town, all the organising committee, because they deserve a pat on the back. I'm, I'm just the front man. There's a lot of people who've done a lot of hard work to make this successful tonight, and thankfully, it's been a tremendous advert for football. How hard has it been? Uh, I think you better ask my wife that, because I think I'm still married. Excuse me. I don't want to see me. I thought you wanted me in then. Just look, if you want to, I don't see why you want to touch me. Just pretend to. Uncancelled. More trouble. More trouble. Absolutely. Yeah. Enough? Yeah. What has been the role of the refereeing association in tonight's match? Well, the, the <laughs> this is where we get confused. There is a referees association and there's an association of Premier League and Football League referees and linesmen. And both bodies have been involved uh, tonight. But Frank Martin uh, was a member of our association, uh, of which I was president at uh, the time of the tragedy. Uh, and uh, what we've done between us, uh, we've staged this match tonight through Roger Gifford, who's been absolutely sensational, and so is his missus, in, in organising everything tonight. But what, what's come through tonight is that um, when there's adversity, sport really does get behind each other. Um, I mean, referees are not the most popular people in the world by virtue of the nature of the job. Uh, but I have to say that immediately I mentioned it to Alec Ferguson in, in October last year, uh, immediately he said, right, we'll take the team down there. Uh, now, as you probably know, the team are also playing at Middlesbrough tonight for Clayton Blackmore, Welsh international, and we were really worried that, uh, that Manchester United might not send a, a good side down. They sent a the smashing side down. They made sure Ryan Giggs came down, which the kids loved. It was just like the Beatles out there tonight. Uh, and of course, Roy Keane and Dennis Irwin, who played in the World Cup, Ian Dublin, you can't really get much better than that. 
Uh, and then, of course, the great John Charles has come down with us today. Uh, and he was introduced to the players. And, and all the older people here tonight have, have loved meeting John Charles. And while we've all had a smashing, smashing night, it's been superb. And the facilities here are unbelievable. The organisation's been terrific. At the end of the day, Debbie Martin and the kids uh, will be a little bit richer. Money's away, they'll be a little bit richer, and uh, we feel that we've done our little bit for her. And we'll, she'll do a lot more if she needs it. She'll be rich and hard as well, won't she? Well, yeah, it, it, it really is a tragedy. Um, I've got opinions on it, and a lot of other people have got opinions on, on what caused it. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, we're not going to see any of our members' uh, families down to tragedy, whether it be forced on them or whether it comes naturally. Uh, and I think Roger Gifford and the people of the South Wales section of our, of our association deserve a big pat on the back, as they do at Cumbran, uh, for the way, the professional way it's been organised tonight. It's been absolutely sensational. And the beautiful thing is, nobody's taken a penny. I think that's marvellous. Cheers. <laughs> so keep him busy? Yes, I'm all right. John, why, why are you here today? Do you mind me asking? Well, uh, the reason why I'm here today is they've invited me down. Manchester United have invited me to come, come with them down here, and I'm very pleased to come back to Wales now. You took there was a big applause for you once they noticed who was out there, didn't they? Yes, a little bit, yeah. Well, people, I don't think people forget, do they? You know, it's very nice. Isn't it? Is it good to come home? Yeah, lovely, lovely. So, the people of Cumbrian have put on a big event today for Frank Martin. Uh, do you think we need to remember people like Frank Martin? Oh, definitely, yeah. I think, you know, that he's done a wonderful job, and uh, I think that the people that, that have organised this, they've done well to get Manchester United down here, really. And I think they've done terrifically well. And the fact that players like Ryan Giggs and Roy Keane are here shows, some, shows in some way the importance of, say, people like Frank Martin in the footballing world, is it not? Well, they don't forget them, you see. Well, you know, people will do things for you. You know, you ask them nicely and... Uh, like Alex Ferguson has done with, uh, with, with, with the referee here, and uh, he's done a wonderful job for him, actually, by sending this team down here. Yeah. You enjoyed your night? Very nice. I enjoyed my day. It's been lovely. It's been lovely to come back home again. Thanks, John. Thank you. OK. Tony Wilcox. I might, OK, sorry. Shall I just look at you, or...? Look in there. Oh, talk to me. Look look the camera. <laughs> Come around town, I've had many big nights, I assume, in the past couple of seasons. Is this a big start to the season? Oh, yes, you couldn't ask for a better start. I mean, 8,000 people camped in here. Uh, tremendous atmosphere. And I think everyone's enjoyed themselves. In terms of uh, nights for Come around town, it's probably one of the biggest ever, hasn't it? Oh, I think so. I mean, to bring the... the uh, the best side in Britain, possibly in Europe, to come round. Uh, perhaps not all the stars that we'd like to have had, but certainly people like Giggs and Keane and Irwin, it's tremendous. 3-1, um, are you pleased with the result? I think we'd have settled for that at the start. I mean, uh, the lads were a bit nervous and a bit apprehensive going out. But, you know, that, that's only natural, I think, when, they, when they're competing against players who are, who are world-class players. Anything impressive out there on the side at all? With what, sorry? Your side. Yeah, we're still sort of fitting a few lads in. You know, it was a shame we, we probably had, could have used a lot more players tonight, but it wasn't possible. We didn't want to use 20 or 22 players. So we picked the squad, and uh, yeah, we're, we're quite pleased with one or two things. Even though it was quite chilly, it was a bit of a carnival atmosphere. Even though it was quite chilly, it was a bit of a carnival atmosphere out there, wasn't it? It was, yeah. I mean, uh, the, I don't know when the last time Manchester United came to, came to South Wales, but uh, it, it's such an attraction. And, uh, and w I think once Ryan Giggs' was, uh, name was on the team sheet, then uh, it was always going to attract a large crowd. Um, talking about the organisation, it's been a good job by Roger and the rest of the lads, hasn't it? They've done ever so well. They've put a lot of work into it, you know. Um, they've had a working party which have been working on it for, for many, many months now. And uh, I think it's come, off, it's come off very, very well. Frank Martin was a local man. Did you know him at all? Yes, I knew Frank. He came through the ranks when I was playing soccer and uh, worked his way up to the Football League. And uh, it's a great shame he's not with us now, but it was a tremendous testament to, his, uh, to, to himself tonight. How do you remember the man? Well, he was always pleasant and... Uh, Worked hard for the for the referee societies. I remember the last time I saw him was at Abergavenny selling raffle tickets for the referees, and uh, always after the game he always had a, had a you know always make way to talk to you, and uh, yeah he'll be sadly missed. Okay, thank you. Okay, all right then. Breakfast oof in three. Is it oof? No, it's breakfast piece in three. Anyway, three, two.
the Premier League champions Manchester United were in action against Cumbran Town of the Conical League at the Cumbran Athletic Stadium. All the 8,000 capacity crowd had come to see one player, the Welsh international Ryan Giggs, who was captaining the United side. The fact that one of the biggest football clubs in the world accepted the invitation to pay tribute to the Gwent linesman, Frank Martin, is an indication of how well he was respected in the sport. During the first term, so just hang on. Um, add a clip in there. There's a couple of guys. There's either one of Roger Gifford, who's the organizer, who mentions, you know, how what a great bloke he was, or use Tony Wilcox, who's Cumran manager, who's a third interview, no fourth interviewee, and he also says what a good lad he was. But the best one's Roger Gifford, who's the organizer of the memorial match. Thanks. Just for level, can you give me your, your full name and your full name? United. Jim Ryan, coach at Manchester United for the reserve team. Right. Jim, why have United actually come here tonight? Well, I think it's uh, to do with Frank Martin and his, his widow. Um, our manager is very aware of the, the sort of brotherhood inside football and uh, he likes to help where he can. Brian Giggs was uh, captaining his side today. Obviously, a uh, joy to see for a lot of uh, Welsh fans. Um, was it important for him to actually be here tonight, do you think? I think so. I think uh, Wales are very fortunate in as much that as Ryan is the kind of player that everybody likes to watch. And uh, it's a pleasure for the crowd to watch him and uh, they get pleasure from it. And uh, to be perfectly honest, I get a lot of pleasure from watching him play as well. Do you enjoy the night? Yes, it's been an excellent night. The, the organisation and the, the friendliness of all the people has been terrific for me and the players. Thank you. All right.